Welcome to another unit in this Excel course. This time I'm going to talk about the options offered by Excel Statistical Toolkit. Well, first off, let's have a look where we can find this toolkit. For this, we can go to the menu Data and then over here with Analysis, we can find Data Analysis. That's actually the toolbox, as it says, for Financial Scientific Data Analysis. If you don't find this here, this could be the case that you still have to activate this as an add-in. So you could go to Developer, then Excel Add-ins, then it's the first part, the Analysis Tool Pack. So going back here, if I click on Data Analysis, you will open here the overview and see, I can do quite a lot of statistical analysis. So the first part, that's my variance analysis. I can calculate correlations, covariance. So, okay, the fir uh, first two or the first three might actually be something new. Correlation coefficient, I can also do by hand with the cor um, corresponding functions. However, some stuff is actually new. For example, exponential smoothing or running was especially different, a Fourier analysis. If I go down here, performing a more sophisticated regression analysis, do some sampling, perform more sophisticated t-tests or a corresponding z-test for means. So I see that's like the basic statistic tests available, which can be done with this data analytical or, as I said, statistical toolbox. I call it a statistical toolbox because, well, as you see here, it's mostly tools from statistics. And well, I could go into more detail about the different things, but for this, well, either we would have to discuss which of the methods is the most suitable in this context, or, and that's the best alternative, you can just check because for some of the other parts here, correlation, covariance, exponential smoothing, for F tests, down here for working with histograms, moving averages, regression, T tests, for all of those you can find a different specific video. So here my comment just is I wanted to show you this toolbox and the breadth of what you can actually do with this toolbox. So while Excel is not the perfect statistics toolkit, it offers quite a lot for, let's call this, at least simple or simple to intermediate statistical analysis. And well, that's then everything I wanted to do in this short session. Basically, make a bit of marketing for using this analytical toolbox if you don't want to use a full-scale statistics program. Well, I hope you still enjoyed this short session. And if you look for additional input, in particular on the different things mentioned in the context of the data analytical toolbox, feel free to visit the rest of this course or have a look in the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.